Hey everyone, the name's Eric Dorr and I want to talk about a question that has often come up. What type is Jesus? Yes, what type is God? What type is Gandhi? What type is Albert Einstein? We are quick to type these people, but we forget the virtue aspect of these people. Like the great thing about these people are, is not their personality type. It is how they have transcended their personality type to reach people in a greater way. It's their virtue, their action, their upbringing, their teaching, their skill, their empathy, their intelligence that has made them what they are, not their personality type. And in claiming that a certain personality type is a certain historical figure is a certain personality type, we are forgetting about so many important dimensions. We're forgetting about health, we're forgetting about intelligence, we're forgetting about skill, empathy, like all these other traits that are unrelated, yes, unrelated to type. There are so many misconceptions when it comes to typing that doesn't factor in health, that doesn't factor in development, and that is when we type people like Hitler and Jesus, and the people often say these people are INFJs, but then they, they, there is this, for example, other issue in this, like a lot of INFJs call the INFJ type the empath type, and what are we doing in doing all of this? What are we doing when we say the most intelligent type is the INTP? Well, what we're doing is we're causing a lot of mislabeling because anybody who is born with a greater intelligence is going to be more likely to identify as an INTP all of a sudden. And all of the people who are more empathic will identify more as INFJs, highly sensitive people will more likely identify as INFJ or INFP. And I feel like that is a big issue because when we say that, for example, HSPs are more likely to be introverted, I think we are forgetting something. Yes, HSP is making it more likely that you will identify as introverted, but does it make you more introverted? Or is there a gray area of highly sensitive extroverts who are actually not introverted, but who identify as such? And it may just be a question of nuance. We are dealing here with a theory that talks about 16 types, not about intelligence, not about health. So this mislabeling is understandable. We are here with a lot of issues. Everyone is coming here from different backgrounds. We may be feeling a little broken, misunderstood. We may be feeling... Um, like school has been very bad for us and that our teachers didn't really understand us and we may have felt bored our entire lives and that shouldn't impact how we identify as a certain personality type but it does and like getting over these kinds of biases like I think it's difficult journey it's hard to type without factoring these things into type it's hard to make a theory that takes out intelligence and health and all those things from type. But it's what we are trying to do at New Jungian Academy. What we're trying to do is formulate personality tests and theories that don't discuss uh, HSP or similar things as related to type, but besides it, we talk about HSP, we talk about IQ, we talk about empathy, and we try to do it besides type, and we try to talk about how each type is impacted by higher intelligence, by higher empathy. That's our goal, that's what we are trying to do, create a more diverse theory with less bias, with less stereotyping, that is more overall better at getting truly down to what the personality type is, what it means to be healthy, what it means to be motivated, what it means to feel good and happy about your life. That is our goal. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you all for watching.